Today we're going to be doing an updated review of the trading platform Sharesies for the new year. Now since my Sharesies review last year, they have made a few changes. They have an updated interface, incorporated trading for US and the Australian markets, and have a slightly different fee structure. Now in this review, we're going to cover markets that Sharesies trade on, which includes the New Zealand market, the NZX, the US market, the uh, New York Stock Exchange, and the uh, tech-heavy NASDAQ, with over 5,000 different companies and funds, and the Australian market, the ASX, with more than 2,000 uh, companies and funds. We're going to talk about how to search for a company, how to buy, actually buy the shares, and what are some of the good shares to buy for people that are first starting. Of course, we're also going to cover the uh, fees and other common questions, such as, is Sharesy a safe trading uh, platform? Or do you need to be a New Zealand resident to use Sharesies? And finally, who Sharesies is most suited for? Now, I have a link to sign up to Sharesies in the descriptions below, in which you can use to sign up and get some free credits, because everyone loves some free stuff. Before I continue on, one of the most common questions that I get is, what is the difference between shares and stocks? And the answer is, there is no difference. In New Zealand, we commonly use the term shares when referring to shares of a company, while overseas in the US, they refer to the same thing as stocks. Both terms are interchangeable, and you can use either one of them. Let's now hop onto the computer and bring up the main Sharesies menu. So here we have the main Sharesies menu. Uh, you can see your total portfolio value and the uh, total return from your portfolio, the simple return in percentage and the amount of dollars that you have put in. If we scroll down, you can see that you have the amount in your wallet that you can invest in. And we can scroll down even further to see the uh, companies that you currently hold at the moment. In order to search for a particular company, we simply go to invest. And then from here, you can type out the name of the company that you want to invest in. For example, if I want to invest in Apple, I can simply just type Apple and go to the uh, Apple stock. Now, one of the uh, quick tip is that you can check for the opening hours of the exchange if it's an international exchange. For example, Apple is in the uh, US exchange and you can check that the opening time is 3.30 a.m. New Zealand time to 10 a.m. New Zealand time. So if I choose a uh, Australian stock, for example, the Commonwealth Bank, Commonwealth Bank of Australia. You can see that currently their stock exchange is open and they're open from 12 p.m. New Zealand time to 6, 12 p.m. New Zealand time. If we just go to an example New Zealand company such as Fisher and Pico Healthcare, if we wanna purchase shares, we can click on the buy button and there are two main purchasing methods. So there is the uh, market buy and the limit buy. So a market buy is where you send in an order and Sharesies tries to match the uh, buyer to the seller on the spot. Now market buy can be kind of tricky because prices displayed on Sharesies is on a delay, which means that you might not uh, be getting the shares at the price that you see on screen. Now, what I personally tend to do is to use limit buy. So with limit buy, you specify the amount of, that you want to spend on one particular share. So for example, Fish and Pico Healthcare is $31.90 at the moment. And say if I want to purchase a share at a 31 New Zealand dollars, and then you can specify the total amount that you want to spend on the particular share. However, with limited buys, there's a possibility that your order will not get filled if the uh, price uh, doesn't lower to the uh, amount that you have specified. One of the uh, benefits of market buy is that you can purchase fractional shares. This means that if one share of a particular company is very expensive, you can buy less than one share of a particular company. So for example, I can spend like $10 on the Fisher and Pico healthcare shares and get around a uh, third of a share. The downside is that you can only buy fractional shares using limit buys on the uh, New Zealand companies but not for the uh, US or Australian companies. So for example, if I pick a US company and I want to buy a limit order, 
I would have to buy a whole share instead of uh, being able to buy a fractional share. So what did you buy when you first start investing? Now, this is another one of those very common questions that I often get. Now, when I first started buying shares, I simply bought some broad market ETFs. ETF stands for Exchange Traded Fund, which are a collection of companies bundled into one trading unit. Now, buying ETFs are usually considered safer than buying individual company stocks because they are more diversified. Now, if you are interested in learning more, check out my video on comparing the uh, different New Zealand top 50 ETFs and my other video on some of the uh, best Vanguard ETFs. So let's now talk about the all important fees. Uh, fees on shares are broadly separated into trading or uh, transaction fees, management fees and exchange fees. For transaction fees, you are charged a transaction fee each time you buy and sell shares in companies or exchange traded fund across all the uh, three markets that shares is covered. Now for amounts up to $3,000, there is a 0.5% fee. And for amounts above the uh, $3,000 mark, the uh, fee is down to a 0.1%. There is a quick calculator on the ShareZ's website, which you can uh, get a rough estimate of the number of fees that you will get. So for example, if you place an order of $1,000, the fee is around $5 altogether. And if you have a high amount, for example, if you are trading $5,000, there's a 0.5% fee up to $3,000, which is around $15 and the 0.1% uh, fee above the uh, 3000 which adds up to about uh, $2 for a total fee of around $17. If you purchase a uh, managed fund, there's usually a management fee associated with it that's charged annually as well. So uh, for a managed fund, you get charged a transactional fee plus a management fee. So for example, if we look at the Smart Shares New Zealand Top 50 Fund, we can scroll down and see this transaction fee goes from 0.5% uh, to 0.1% and they have an annual management fee of 0.5%. If you purchase international shares, there is a 0.4% currency exchange fee when you exchange money. Now you can choose to exchange money when the uh, rate is favorable or simply exchange at the uh, time when purchasing the international shares. Another common question is that is ShareZ safe? So ShareZ separates the uh, company operating account from your investment accounts. So they hold all your investments in a separate custody account so that even if shares is the company shuts down your money will still be safe in a different account so finally the big question is who exactly is shares for now in order to sign up for shares you need to be over 16 years old a new zealand residents and have a working new zealand bank account ShareZ as a trading platform is good for beginners to intermediate traders and investors because they have an extremely clean and easy to use interface along with a web-based mobile app. Now they cover the three main markets for New Zealanders which includes the New Zealand, the US and the Australian market. They have probably the lowest fees for trading New Zealand companies compared to other brokers in New Zealand. The downside for shares is that they are probably cheaper brokers for trading international shares, but it just means that if you want to do it that way, you will need to use multiple platforms. Now, they are not that good for advanced traders because you don't get a real-time share price update. Now, if you're interested in getting real-time share price updates, you can go to settings and choose to add on the uh, New Zealand market depth but that will cost you an additional $10 per month. Now, unless you are a pretty serious trader, most people probably wouldn't need this particular option. The other downside is that ShareZ charge a transactional fee for purchasing managed funds. There are other platforms in New Zealand such as InvestNow or SmartShares that have either no transaction fee or just a setup fee for buying managed funds. So if you're only interested in buying managed funds, they might be a better option. If you're interested in signing up to ShareZ, there's a link in the description below where you can get some free credits for signing up. If you're interested in other trading platforms, check out my reviews on those as well, and I'll see you in the next video.